This video will walk you through a basic tool search of Medline. We're going to start off on the Oregon Tech Library homepage. On the left hand side, you could mouse over Find and click on Electronic Resources to find Medline. Or on the right hand side of the page, under the Quick Links, you can click on Electronic Resources. Both links go to the same page. This is that page. Our list of resources is in alphabetical order. If you scroll down about halfway, you'll find Medline. You can also click at the M link at the top that will get you directly here. When you click on Medline, you'll be asked to log in. This is the same information as all of your other Oregon Tech logins and passwords. This is what Medline looks like when you're entering your search terms. I've entered some search terms here. And at the bottom, I'd like to point out a couple of different options. Linked full text will get you items that are available full text or linked as full text through this particular resource. Just because it's not linked full text doesn't mean we won't have full text somewhere, so I'm not going to check that right now. The other thing you can do is you can add in a publication title. So if your professor has told you that you need to search in a particular journal, you can enter that information here and you'll search in just that journal. The things below this, such as language or type of article, are also important if they're required by your assignment, such as review articles are good for literature reviews, or empirical research is where the article is discussing actual research that people have done, um, hands-on type of things like adding enamel to rat's teeth. This is what a search results screen looks like. The big arrow at the top in the center is pointing to all of our different results. You can see the title of an article. On the left hand side it tells us that it's an academic journal. The information on the article gives us the author's information, the international serial standard number, uh, which is a great way to find a specific journal, especially if it has a very vague title like Time or Life. It also gives us the date, and then it says Find It. This Find It is when we don't have the linked full text, but this is how we could get the full text even if it's not available through this particular resource. So don't be scared of that Find It button. Go ahead and click on it if you want um, this particular article and see what it says. On the left hand side of the screen, it gives us more options to narrow down our search, such as subject down at the bottom, publication again, language, age, we can choose the publication date, or we can click on that linked full text to see what happens and what we can get right now through this resource. This is what happens when you click on a title. On the left hand side, you can see a PDF, PDF full text link. This is a resource that is a linked full text article off of our basic search. So you can click on that and you'd have the article right in front of you. I also want to point out the mesh subject terms down in the center. These are the medical subject heading terms. We have another video on how to search for these terms and get more precise results that's a little bit more advanced than this video goes in. I highly recommend watching that video if you're going to be doing research in the medical fields. On the right hand side of the page, we have more tools. There are a couple of these tools that I really like. There's the email tool, so you could email this article to yourself. In that email, you can also tell it what type of citation you want, and it will email you an appropriate citation that you can double check the format of, and then cut and paste into the back of your paper. There's also the Cite button, which will give you the citation in a variety of formats for this particular article. AMA and APA are two of the citation styles available through this resource. And then there's the permalink. Maybe you don't have time to email this to yourself and you just want to save a link. Don't save the one at the top of the address bar. Don't bookmark it. Save with the permalink. That way you'll be able to get back to it. Check out our other videos on Oregon Tech Library DIY on YouTube. 
this is the link here. If you have any questions, let us know at libtech at oit.edu. Thanks.